What's up guys, it's Ben Quirty here and today I'm making a commentary over this gameplay I got yesterday and I'm using the live version background, that's why you're seeing my camera up. Um, I just thought it'd be um, better quality if it's live recorded because in theatre it always looks a bit choppy and um, yeah, why not? So um, this is actually pretty nice gameplay for what I usually get. Uh, this was me playing with the Switch class, uh, Ironside DSR, and I actually go on a 24 streak um, in the next life, I think, on this life, I'm not sure. Um, start off with the first 10 kills with the Ironside, then switch to the DSR, and later on I pick up an MP7. Uh, I, I die for pretty stupid reason. I was staring at the radar uh, because I had a V set up, and I didn't realize there's a bouncing Betty on the floor that my teammate. Um, may go off. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about in this commentary is um, quite a few things. First of all, I made a cell fi store. If you don't know what that is, um, it's a store that's used by a lot of editors in this community to um, sell. They sell all kinds of things and project files mainly and CC packs. I started it off um, because it might be an interesting idea. I just wanted to try it out and put, I think, two color corrections on it. The one I used in my first Black Ops 3 edit and uh, the Revival 2 color correction. And some people have looked at it. You can apparently see like um, how many views your products have got. And um, I also recently added a color correction pack with uh, five CCs. That I've used before and I've all made them myself. I'm not copying them from uh, like another pack or something. And I just wanted to know you guys' opinion on that. If you'd be interested in, for example, project files, like I'm pretty sure I still have, um, for example, the outbreak, uh, outbreak project file uh, without the clips, so only the Sony Vegas um, document or whatever. And I just wanted to know if anyone would be interested in that, um, seeing like how my edits look in Vegas and um, if you want to see that then let me know in the comments and I can put that on there and um, I'll, I'll leave the link of my uh, cell file in the description anyway if you want to look at those um, CC's and um, yeah so that's the first thing I wanted to mention then secondly there have been a lot of people asking recently um, when's Remarkable 3 gonna come out because it was, well it is planned for September still and September is slowly coming to an end and a ton of people are asking to work um, who's getting pretty annoyed by it I can understand that and I've also seen a lot of comments on the trailer that I edited about when it's gonna come out and I've even been tweeted at about when it's gonna be released so all I'm gonna say is um, just wait until the work is done and then it's gonna come out. I know he's working on it really hard. Um, last weekend I think uh, we helped him with um, a lot of cinematics which um, he's now got to record all because this is like a 10 minute uh, team touch and he's editing most of it. But I've already seen parts of the intro as well so that's made or uh, nearly finished and uh, you're definitely gonna love it. I've seen a lot of clips as well obviously because I edited uh, the trailer and uh, it's gonna be worth the wait uh, honestly if it doesn't come out until the end of September then um, it will definitely be out early um, October I can promise you that but just stop asking to work because uh, a lot of people in Bang ha ask him like every day as well uh, it will be done once he is finished editing it. Lai has done some parts as well, but he doesn't have much time, so Dwork probably have to do most of it. Then something else I wanted to show you guys is um, I actually got a new rebrand made. Um, Twitter header, YouTube banner and AV. And that is by BangTHB. Um, I'll put it up on the screen right now and I'll leave his links in the description. I just told him, hey man, I thought it'd be a good idea to have like a family guy uh, style revamp. Oh, there's my death, by the way. Pretty stupid. Um, but anyway, I, I just told him, you know, it'd be a good idea to have like Family Guy um, on a rebrand, and um, he actually made an amazing banner. I didn't like have any expectations, to be honest, because it's just a simple topic, but um, it came out perfectly. So 
Um, go check out his work down below. He's an amazing um, graphics designer. And um, now that brings me to the last topic of this commentary that I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm gonna start editing Immortals 5 soon. Uh, still haven't got clips or anything, so I can't start. But um, my last uh, edit, no, not the last edit. The montage that I ed uh, uploaded from Revive had one orchestra part and one rock part, and a lot of people seem to enjoy the rock part um, over the epic part a lot. And uh, that's why I wanted to ask you guys again, like, you probably want to see mainly rock, and um, I'm uploading a mini task soon with uh, music by a band that I might use songs by because I have a lot of nice songs by them and I just want to know you guys' opinion on that if you'd like that type of music um, because I really like it and you seem to enjoy my rock edits a lot recently so um, once that mini touch is up uh, I'll be in a few days or something then definitely let me know if you want that type of music in Immortals 4 uh, Models 5 and uh, then I can definitely arrange it with Bundy and um, yeah that's just uh, what I wanted to say. I want you guys help and opinion on what you want the Models 5 to look like uh, music wise at least because uh, I think it would be a lot better to have a rock styled team touch. I think uh, a lot of people are getting a bit bored of orchestral music but um, anyway that's Everything I wanted to talk about, um, quite a long commentary actually, I never do these uh, long kind of commentaries, but yeah, I had a lot of stuff to talk about and wanted to mention a lot of stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and I'm uh, gonna see you in the next one with that sex German accent. Bye.